In this quick product demonstration, we're going to address Splunk security. Specifically, we will examine the Splunk seam and also the Splunk SOAR. Both of these products are well integrated and abstract a lot of complexity that we have with security. We will also look at today's challenging landscape that security teams are faced with and how you can use these Splunk products to overcome many of these challenges. In today's infrastructure, we have a lot of tools spread around that are not well integrated that will actually decrease your security posture. So firstly, we're going to browse some apps in the Splunk apps, help you make use of the data and get value from the data that you ingest. When we select browse more apps, we can see all of the categories we have on the left hand side. And these range from IT operations all the way down to vulnerability scanner. In this product demo, we're most interested in security actions, so we're going to type security and this will display the most relevant to that search. And here you will see all the related security apps we have, such as Splunk Security Essentials, which is the Splunk Seam, along with Splunk Soar. We also have tons of external companies that have created security focused apps to use with Splunk. Splunk leverages machine data and other data sources to gain useful security insights. The power of Splunk is the index and it can ingest data from literally every type of source and then combine this into one platform that will fully fulfill all of your security requirements. I often consider Splunk to be a platform that sits in the middle of my infrastructure and then abstracts all of the complexity away. The value of Splunk is that it can ingest data from literally any source. For cloud computing, we have information from the different types of logs that are available. Then from the network we have, for example, Cloud Adaptive Security and Palo Alto Networks. Then for the operating system sources, we can gain useful insights from Windows event logs for performance and security purposes. Finally, we have security options and this can come from McAfee Antivirus. So why do we need to ingest all of this data and then place it into one platform? Well, security teams are under pressure and there are a lot of security blind spots. Now security teams face various challenges from repetitive tasks to cumbersome process. And with more point tools scattered throughout the organization, we're just gonna create more silos, which will eventually lead to potentially more blind spots. There is a rise in ransomware and with encryption speeds of the top 10 different ransomware families, it really is game over. The speed of ransomware is astonishing. And once the ransomware binaries have been executed, a defender is unlikely to be able to do anything once the encryption process has started. And keep in mind that malware these days is polymorphic and programmed to evade common signatures and rules and we know that the perimeter based defense hasn't worked for a while now. So once we ingest all of this machine data into the common platform, now we can perform searches on it. And here Splunk uses its own Splunk search processing language. So SPL is a language containing many commands and functions and different types of arguments, which are written to get the desired results from the data sets that you ingest. I'm also a huge fan of Splunk SOAR and here we can have what's called low code playbooks that can run in manual, semi or even fully automatic approach. The level of automation you choose for these playbooks really depends on the level of automation maturity and what you feel comfortable with in your organizations. So we can have different playbooks that can be used for different purposes. For example, you can have a playbook that can hunt for a specific type of malware, then we can have a playbook that can be used just to enrich alerts. So on the screen I have now, I have a group of playbooks that are combined into one coherent workflow. And as you can see, the top playbook is checking for domain reputation. Splunk SOAR also has a playbook visualizer that's gonna make things really easy for you to get started. Here you can tie different playbooks together and all of these playbooks can then have different actions. So with this playbook visualizer, I'm creating a playbook around lookup domain, 
domain reputation and also file reputation. So in this product demonstration, we address Splunk security. Specifically, we looked at the Splunk seam and also the Splunk SOAR. Both of these products are well integrated and abstract a lot of complexity you have with security. We also looked at the challenge and landscape that security teams are faced with and how you can use the Splunk products to overcome some of these challenges. Let's face it, in today's infrastructure, we have tons of tools that are spread around, working in silo and not very well integrated, all of which will decrease your visibility and your security posture.